Hey guys, today's video is going to be a collective haul of some shopping that I've done in the last week, week and a half. And I went through all of my summer clothes because I changed up my winter and summer wardrobe. Went through everything I had, um, sort of got rid of things I'm not going to wear anymore or things that I basically wore to death last year. Tried on a bunch of my clothes to make sure they still fit and I've kind of made a list in my head of things that I needed to get for the next coming summer. So I decided I needed a couple of dresses, a couple of pairs of jean shorts, some new tank tops, and maybe a couple of fun accessories. So I ended up getting pretty much everything I needed for the next summer, with the exception maybe of a few cute t-shirts. I think I'm pretty much set to go. So I'm going to start with the J. Crew Outlet Store first. Now I love shopping at J. Crew, but J. Crew is pretty expensive for most people, including myself. The only time I ever really shop there is if I'm buying something that's specifically on sale or something that I absolutely can't live without. But I pretty much shop at the J. Crew Outlet Store all year long. They have great things in their store and their quality is just as good as the J. Crew store. I actually prefer to buy my tank tops at the J. Crew Outlet Store because they're really high quality. They're better than pretty much anything out in the market and they cost just a little bit more than the tank tops that are at Old Navy. So the first one I got is your basic, you know, everyday ribs tank top. I got this in a couple of different colors, this turquoise color. I always get a couple um, of the same one in white because I wear white pretty much every day. I usually layer tank tops. But I bought this one in a fun color, a couple of different white ones, navy and black. I usually always go for staple colors and colors that I really like. Um, this one... I bought in a medium because I find that they do shrink a little bit. Um, they get a little shorter when you wash them a couple of times. And they also sort of shrink underneath the armpits. And I don't like it when things kind of ride up too high on me in the armpit area. So I bought a medium. And these ones were $6.99. So I bought a couple of different ones of those. And then the second style of tank top that I bought, and I love these. Uh, this one is not a ribbed tank top. It's a really nice soft cotton fabric and this one's a little bit more scoop necked and has a thinner strap. I like to wear these layered especially if I want to wear these by themselves. I find it's I'm a little more self-conscious with really thin straps like this if I'm wearing a bra so I do like to wear at least two shirts on top of each other to layer them and usually I do like white in a color or um, pink in a different color like navy or black. So this one's pink scoop neck and these ones I got for $11.89 and the same thing with these, I bought pink, navy, black, and a couple of different white ones. And then I bought your everyday sort of v-neck t-shirt. I love these. I wear these all the time. And I bought a couple of these last year and I basically wore them to death. I bought this one in white and navy. And they have them in a lot of other colors than this. But when I was there, they only had um, basically the two colors that I bought and a couple of colors that I didn't think were very attractive. But I went back again. Um, the other day and they had more colors. Now my tag says $15. I don't have the receipt on which I bought these in front of me. I'm pretty sure they were less than that. But The next t-shirt I bought is a really cute navy t-shirt that has this really cute sort of fringe detail off to the side. Off to the side here. It might be a little hard to see. I know sometimes these details are hard to see on really dark t-shirts. But it's got this little fabric that's sewn on here to look like flowers. Like a fringe. And embellishments on t-shirts and sweaters is huge this year. So embellishments down the front where a shirt or a sweater might button. Things off to the side of collars. Um, embroidery that's down the shirts. Things with uh, buttons or beads sewn on. They're huge this year. So I was really, really excited when I saw this. And I bought this in white and navy. This one was $26.50. It was a little bit more expensive. But if you go in stores looking for t-shirts specifically like this or ones that have this embellishment, they're going to be a little more expensive than your everyday t-shirt. I showed you my white jeans in my outfit of the day on Sunday. I love white jeans for summer. They're so easy to accessorize with pretty much any color shirt and sandals and you look so cute and pulled together. These ones are a white pair of skinny or straight leg jeans. And I had to buy another pair of these because the ones that I have in my collection now are just a little bit tight. And I definitely am not a fan of muffin tops, so I wanted to avoid that at all costs. So I went up a size, and um, these ones are called the Matchstick Skinny or Straight Leg Jeans. These ones were uh, $41.65. 
those are pretty much the things that I bought at the J. Crew outlet store. The next store that I'm going to show you is American Eagle, and I bought two pairs of jean shorts from that store. I've been on the hunt for some jean shorts because I don't have any currently in my collection. Now, I'm not the type of person that really likes to wear short shorts anymore, so I usually stick to a longer short or more Bermuda-style Bermuda short. And the ones that I bought are both sort of Bermuda-style shorts. These ones are the American Eagle Skinny Bermuda. And they are a really nice dark wash. The bottom of the short is sort of rolled up. The great thing about this is they come sort of mid-thigh. And I love it because you can roll them up to make them shorter if you want to have a shorter style jean. So they serve sort of multiple functions. These ones are dark wash. They don't have a lot of acid washing or distressing, which I actually like. because I find that uh, distressing usually makes the pants last a little bit less in in the amounts of times that you can wear them. And shorts are usually pretty expensive anyways. These ones were $39.50 and I know that their jeans at American Eagle cost about $40. So a pair of shorts will cost you as much as a pair of jeans. So you want to make sure they're ones that you're going to actually be able to wear all throughout the summer. The second pair that I bought is very similar to the first except these are the American Eagle Boy Fit jeans. So they fit a little bit looser on the body. I forgot to mention that the American Eagle Skinny fit short or Bermuda short, they fit tightly along the thigh like a pair of skinny jeans would, except they're cut off to be shorts. The American Eagle Boy Fit, they sort of fit a little bit more loosely on the body, they're not so tight. These ones have a lot of acid washing and also distressing, so there's holes here off to the side in a couple of places. Now like I said, that's not my favorite feature of jeans because I find that they don't last quite as long, but I thought these were really cute and very comfortable and I needed another pair and I didn't want to have two of the exact same pair. So I ended up getting these. This is kind of what they look like from behind. And these ones were also $39.50. And then I went to Ann Taylor Loft. I love Ann Taylor Loft. I know I've said this before because they have a petite section. So I'm only 5'2". And petites are for people that are 5'4 and under. So they make the proportions of the clothes slightly different. Now the great thing about Ann Taylor Loft is that they carry petites, but they also carry regular sizes for people who are taller than that, which is fantastic. Um, so I bought a couple of really cute summer dresses there. The first dress that I bought is a really cute summer dress and it's black. It has this really pretty sort of ruffle detail in the front that goes across the collar. And ruffles, like I said, um, embellishments on shirts and dresses and everything that's really, really big this year. So it got, has this really pretty ruffle that goes across the front of the dress. It has this sort of thicker strap that goes all the way across around the neckline. There's a thicker band here that cinches below the bust line, and there is a bow tie that ties in the back. So it's just a really cute, simple dress. This one was originally uh, $69.50, and I ended up getting mine for $35, and I ended up getting a four petite. Next one, I ended up having to buy a small petite. This one is back to my favorite color. This is a navy dress. This one is a little bit softer or jersey knit fabric than the other one. They're both a really nice soft cottony fabric, but this one's navy jersey knit, so it's a little more stretchy. And this one has this really pretty sort of rounded collar here that has this beaded embellishment here. They're kind of steel gray little beaded crystals. Just a really fun flare. There is a cinching here or a line that's sewn here where there's two separate pieces of fabric that are sewn right below the bust line. There's no bow, but it has this really pretty back line where it's kind of like a cutout in your back, and then it ties here at the top. So you have this really pretty draping of um, the, the bow tie falling on your back. It's not too open, perfect for um, a really casual day around town. It could also be worn to work with some really cute accessories. And I like that it's so soft and flowy and easy to wear. This one is a little bit more expensive. It was $69.50. I ended up getting this in a small petite because it uh, is a little bit more stretchy material and the medium petite was just too big on me. That's basically everything I bought in my collective haul. I shopped at American Eagle, Ann Taylor Loft, J. Crew Outlet Store, and TJ Maxx. I hope you guys enjoyed this collective haul and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.